Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. This video is going to be about my leg day that I did yesterday. Leg day is a very, very important day to me. As you guys know, I've been working out really hard on my legs. And I am doing legs about every four days now, so I'm putting in a lot of work. But I do think that work is turning into some gains, so that's good. Today, I'm going to start off with some squats. Now, right now I'm doing 225, and that's about as heavy as I went today. Um, just wasn't feeling the raw power in my squat that I sometimes do. But that's alright, because I still focused really, really hard on the form. Really, really getting deep into the squat and squeezing my muscles actively. Not just, you know, performing the motion. Actually trying to engage the different muscles involved in the squat throughout the motion. And even when I don't look really, really heavy, I do feel that I get a lot of activation in the muscles that I need to activate by doing squats this way. When I want to go heavy, I probably will generally just use a machine that supports me somehow. So, for example, today as we'll get to in the later in the video. Um, I didn't go super, super heavy on my squats, but I did go pretty heavy on the leg press. And the reason I do that is because there's not a, when I go heavy, you know, I don't want there to be a lot of finesse involved. I just want to be able to push like crazy. And that's exactly what I did. But on my squats, I do understand there is some, you know, definite finesse involved. There is definitely some form you want to maintain. And I feel like maintaining that form and actively, you know, having that mind-muscle connection, you know, stretch and squeeze is going to help me out more on the squat than just going really, really heavy and using, like, worse form. And that's what I've been doing for a long time now. And sometimes I do go heavier on squats, but like I said, you know, I was just going by feel. And 225 today for, you know, six sets of six to eight felt about right to me, so that's what I did. Finishing off my, my bar work with some, uh, with some front squats here. I think I did three sets of front squats today. And after my front squats, I transitioned into some straight-legged deadlifts. And now, you guys are telling me, you know, the straight leg deadlift and Romanian deadlift, not the same thing. I don't really care what the exercise is called. I'm just <laughs> doing a deadlift without, you know, the focus being on, you know, bending my legs as much, all right? So I'm engaging my hamstrings with these. And I feel like these are helping me out a lot, you know, especially helping the back of my legs grow, helping the back of my legs get that sort of separation. I think it's helping out a lot. So when I'm doing these, you can tell how it's different from a normal deadlift. Like, I'm not even putting the bar on the ground, not lifting it up, you know, not bending my knees and using my hips a whole lot to lift it off the ground. I'm keeping it, keeping my legs pretty much in the same position, and I'm allowing my hamstrings to be stretched, and then pulling with my hamstrings to get the bar up. And if you do this exercise correctly, you will feel it. It's, you know, it's kind of like when you bend over and, you know, try to touch your toes, you know, that, that hamstring stretch. That's the idea. You're just applying weight to that stretch, I guess. At least that's kind of how it feels to me. You're applying weight to that stretch, and you're using that uh, hamstring muscle to pull the bar up. So you're actually, you know, flexing the muscle anyway, so. Now, I don't use as, nearly as much weight as I normally do, like, when I do it like a normal deadlift. So, if you guys want to try this exercise, definitely try it, you know, maybe with dumbbells first. Try it with very, very light weight, at least, because you are stretching your hamstring out pretty well, and you don't want to pull anything, so. The next thing I did was some leg press. I think right here, I can't tell right here if I have four or five plates on there. I went up to six plates on both sides today, and that was pretty heavy, and I liked that a lot. I was only doing about six reps of that, but that felt really good. And mostly what I was doing here was doing, you know, I guess, what, eight to ten reps with five plates on there. That was, that was my main work for the day. Did about six sets of that, and then I put the six plates on there for a couple sets of six just to see what the heavyweight felt like and really, really push hard because, like I said, you know, I can't, I don't, I don't feel like I just have the raw pushing strength in my squat yet, but in order to get that raw pushing strength, it's the same, it's the same idea I had with my bench press. You know, you guys make fun of me sometimes for using the Smith machine, but then, you know, then of course, you know, using that Smith machine and just getting used to just raw power push allowed me to do 315 on the flat bench. So, same idea here. I feel like if I really try to just overload my legs with weight, Still using good form, still, you know, making sure to, you know, push with the muscles that I, I you know, want to actually involve in the, in the exercise, just like normal. I feel like using the leg press machine is going to help me improve my squat. But regardless, that, that was my mindset for today. Use good form on the squats, don't necessarily have to go super heavy weight, but then really pack on the weight on the leg press machine and go ham. And so that's what I did. I still think my legs are, like, weaker than perhaps they should be for a person my size. But honestly, I'm not really all that concerned with that sort of comparison. Like, you know, you should be stronger for your size or, you know, you should be squatting more than this or whatever. Because honestly, I'm really happy with my progress and I feel like it's easy to get caught up in a comparison like that. But instead of, you know, worrying about 
how you think you should be in comparison to others. I've said this before, and a lot of people have said this. I would really, really encourage you to have your progress be tracked within yourself. You know, be like, well, I was only able to do this much before, and now I'm able to do this. Or my legs were this defined or this big before, and now I have done all this work, and they've grown and become more defined and a lot bigger than before. That's 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 what I'm doing, and that's what I'm seeing. So. After I finish up all of my, you know, just big compound movement pushing work, I'll head over to these, uh, these isolation machines. And these are something that I don't really think that you should necessarily base your workout around, but after you've fatigued your legs sufficiently doing all those huge pushing exercises, um, definitely give these machines a try because I think they've, they've helped me out a lot. Just to clean up the muscle maybe, give you a little bit extra work, a little bit of focus on one muscle. And I've also been putting a lot of effort into my calves recently. So I, I'll do calves just about every day if I can. Not always necessarily on this machine, but in some way or another, I'll do calf work. And I feel like it's turning out. I feel like I've got a long way to go, though. My, my, like I've said before in past videos, like my calves are a genetically potential or potentially genetically very strong area for me, just because my dad and my mom's calves are pretty beast. So you know, I gotta work them calves. You <laughs> gotta make the most out of the genetic potential, I guess. So then I'll also come over here to the, my quadricep extension. And that'll pretty much round out my leg workout for uh, today. I don't do a lot of adductor or abductor on the hip machine like Jenny does, but um, I feel like I get plenty, plenty of uh, you know hip work from the squats, being you know seeing how deep I go in my squats and from deadlifting, you know, because a lot of that is hip drive, deadlifting and squats. So, and I focus on that. So, I feel like I get plenty about that, and I like to walk the next day, so I don't do a lot of hip abductor or abductor. And that's pretty much my standard leg workout, guys. This is a really, really solid workout. I'm definitely still feeling it today. But I'm glad because, you know, that, that, that's a good sign. You get, get a little bit of soreness. You know you broke down your muscles sufficiently for them to grow back bigger, stronger next time. So, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your support. And keep up the good work. Peace!